Paul, here's the truth about Dallas. This wide receiver core is marginal. It's marginal. And it was awesome last year. No, it wasn't. Oh. The running game was great in the O-line. They have a 35-year-old tight end, going to be a Hall of Famer, but he's a 35-year-old tight end. Dez no longer separates. Bryce Butler's nice, not special. This wide receiving core is average, and they have faced Denver's secondary, the Rams' defensive front, the Giants' defense, and Arizona. These numbers are all going to improve this weekend when they face Green Bay's defense <laughs> and Green Bay's secondary. This is all about who they faced and what they've become over the last 12 months, which is marginal on the perimeter. Listen, we all came into the season, and I was the big proponent. I thought Dak was going to step up. I, I, I didn't expect their offensive line to maintain that stellar play from a year ago. Obviously, Zeke Elliott's had some off-field issues. There was a cloud over his head. Uh, you know, Des Bryant's a year older. Jason Witten's a year older. Those are all fine points. But at some point, the quarterback is supposed... I was anticipating him stepping up, not stepping back. I Listen, I all those things are great context, and, and there's truth to all of them. But I think it's fair to say right now, four games in the season, <laughs> this looks like a sophomore slump. I, no, I see, I look at this, and I look at Dak Prescott, and Dak Prescott, I think, is a great young player. But that's just it. He's still a young player. Mm -hmm. And when you have a situation like they had last year where your running back averages over five yards a carry on first down, and, oh, by the way, had over, I believe, 1,000 yards on first down last year, <laughs> on first down, you have to, as a defense, you have to present eight-man boxes, single high safeties, and you've got to be one-on-one -on -one somewhere, right? There's <laughs> on the edges, you're getting one-on-ones, and you're getting them consistently. And then all of a sudden, you flag that ball out there, and you show that defense, and you've got Ray Lewis and everybody else jumping mm -hmm. to stop that run. The over-the-top, I mean, all of a sudden, you, you throw a wide hook over the, over the top of the ball, and that's an easy nine-yard completion 100% of the time. It's different right now. They're not running the ball like that. They're, They're not. not dominating the line of scrimmage. They're not always getting eight-man fronts. This is, this is the learning curve that he's going through right yeah. now. And you know what? That Sounds like a slump to me. No, <laughs> no it ain't no slump. <laughs> <laughs> Dallas, every, everyone knows from last year, you see Zeke come in, Dak come in. This is a run-first offense, period. And exactly what Mark is saying, where, we've, where you're saying it's a slump, the, whole, the, the entire team is in a slump. That entire offense is in a slump with what they do very well. Because if they don't put Dak in those type of positions, then it doesn't look the same for Dak. And, of course, we go directly to the quarterback and say, oh, man, the quarterback is having a bad year. But I want you to – if you go if you go back and watch the last two or three games, I was just paying attention to certain things. Zeke touches the ball on first down. He don't touch it again for mm. three downs. That ain't That's not Dallas style of football. Dallas style of football is get that beast running. Yeah. And once you get him running – Everything starts to change for the Dallas They are Cowboys. a run team. Right. They are run they, for they, But they, when you average five yards of carry on first down, you know what's open? Everything. Your entire playbook <laughs> is open, right? Everything. When all of a sudden it's second down and 11, you're in trouble. Left guard, the change in left guard that's really hurt them. Right tackle. Mm -hmm. And I know Collins is a beast when he was inside. He's struggling out there. When yeah. you get out there in the water, I mean, there's, there's, like, I know I was a pretty good guard. I know if I went out in the water, I wouldn't have lasted very long in the mm -hmm. NFL. Mm -hmm. I couldn't play out there. There's stats I always look at. Yards per play. Dallas is 12th. Considering you face Denver Rams, Arizona Giants, not terrible. That's a, that's a big Vegas stat. Also, three and outs. They're among the lowest in the league. They face Denver Ram, Arizona Giants. Green Bay, you just watch this weekend. If you told me there's going to be a blowout in the NFL this weekend, I'd tell you Dallas. They're going to commit to the run, and they're, they're going to face for the first time in a month a defensive line they can push around a little. The guy was the talk of the NFL, yeah. rookie of the year. He was everything. And so are things not as efficient around him as they were a year ago? Is it not an unreasonable expectation for your quarterback to plug some of those gaps and, and to, while you're playing this tough schedule, while you're figuring things out with your offensive line, 
That's what we expect out of quarterbacks. We do expect that. Mm -hmm. But you ask anybody who coaches in this league, they'll tell you a quarterback doesn't really know what he likes and what he doesn't like until he experiences it all and it takes about three years. Absolutely. This guy is this second guy's, year. Right. What is he what has he played? He played 16 last year, he played four, he's played 20 games in his NFL career. That's not a whole lot of games. They crowned yeah. him last year. I was, to, to I'm still crowned him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>